everyone and welcome back. We've got a video today that's more for advanced users, a multi-dimensional view of things. We're going to be looking at the change management world today. Okay, so we'll look at approval signatures and the relationship to change management. So, you know, essentially in either ServiceNow or Remedy or HP, you've got two different tables there, one storing the signatures for each change and then the other table storing um, you know, the, the change requests themselves. And you want to bring together the detail to figure out where the bottlenecks are in the change management process. Um, so that's what we're going to show you, show you today with a couple of different visualizations that uh, we have here within, uh, within Microsoft Power BI. Okay, so let's get started. We'll connect to our multi-dimensional database here, and we're going to look at change signature, as I mentioned. Okay, so we have uh, different ones that are available to us, depending on what you purchase and if you have the advanced process pack or not, um, you'll have access to these multi-dimensional views, where you will see pre-built in the joins, which you don't have to do yourself, which is very nice. Um, you know, about living in this multi-dimensional world. Okay, so first, what I want to do is import a custom visual. I want to use a bubble chart here. Um, we're going to use a bubble chart and show you how that works, okay? Um, good way to take a look at um, all of our different um, change signatures by approver, okay? So we're going to start with that. And I'll drop my bubble on here. And we're going to do our change signature count. Okay, and then from our change signature table, we'll pull in the full name of that individual and we'll see our bubbles here. Okay, so uh, now this is every signature ever. Um, I want to figure I want to figure out which ones are pending approval. Okay, because that's where the bottlenecks are. Um, so next we're going to add in a uh, slicer here um, that brings together again from the change signature we'll look at approval status okay so we want to look at not just ones that are uh, approved but also those that are pending okay so when I click on pending we get a different set of bubbles these widgets are all interconnected okay so now those are the ones where there is work stoppage or potentially um, or, you know, our process team can look at, you know, where can we start moving some of these forward. Now, the question here is, you know, I want to see which particular changes, okay? That's coming from a different table. So to get that information, we're going to create another related uh, table with the detailed data here, okay? So we'll get our detailed data, and uh, we want to be looking at the okay, change dimension. So we open that up. And I'm going to expand this a little bit. Okay, we want to look at that by, um, let's see, by product categorization. Okay, uh, so we'll bring in that hierarchy. Oop, into the, I'm sorry, I meant to select my existing widget. You got to make sure you do that. And we're not going to have all of the product categorizations. We kind of just want the high level and then the detailed view. Okay, so we've got our business service. And we've got our product name, and then we've got our infrastructure change ID. Okay, so these are the changes that are pending. Um, so we could look at, um, now one thing I might want to add in, in, in this detailed view is um, the count of them, and then sort by that. So see which have the most um, signatures, okay, required. Those are going to move along, obviously, a little bit more slowly. Okay, so for example, this particular... Um, you know, production hardware move for this server requires, you know, 21 signatures. So, you know, when we're, when we're in a pending state and we're waiting for 21 signatures to get executed, uh, probably some, you know, uh, risky infrastructure to, uh, to change. Uh, but those are also the ones that require our most attention to help move along in the process. Okay. So, uh, you know, there's an example of how you can bring together multiple dimensions, and uh, and by that, usually I'm referring to different tables in the database. Uh, we can do this with up to ten. So, um, you know, in a single report. So you might also look at the related configuration items, uh, related incidents, 
um, you know, that had potentially caused these changes um, or vice versa. So yeah, you can do quite a bit with the multidimensional views. I'm going to show you a concrete example with respect to approval bottlenecks. Please contact us through our website if you have any questions or if you'd like to see a personal demo. Thank you.